Okay, I thought I'd just capture a real quick uh, overview of how I've laid out my FM9. Um, upon boot up, I go to presets. Um, I'm using some version of the OMG9 layout, um, which I'll talk through. Um, so again, I default to presets. Uh, I have scenes and effects available at the, on those top three buttons there. Um, one thing is I do set up my scenes more to toggle. I do that, that's something I started doing with my FM3, which I, which I really like. So again, if I um, switch to that, that that scene so this is my scenes toggle um you, i really can just alter i can go one two that toggles back beat and forth between one and two three and four for that one four uh five and six for that one seven and eight for that one um mainly i i tend to lay out all of my presets such that there's some variation stacked up like that so clean delay clean no delay lead lead pitch effect things like that um, alternate dirt over here. Um, so again, that just gives me some um, pretty quick access to all of my scenes, which I like. I do have a per preset that I set up. This is just a slightly modified version. There's some toggle, some direct select. This is just so it, there's a couple tunes where I need to get to a scene faster. So I set up here. Um, so if I go back to that, my scenes toggle, we're good to go there. Um, uh, one thing I do is I pretty much, I use delay a lot, so I always like to have a tap tempo at my disposal. That is long press for the tuner. Um, and then one thing I do uh, is I use a multiplexer with channels to change some routing at the front of my um, signal chain. And that's what this button does. It just sort of cycles through some, some uh, channels on the multiplexer. So defaults, this uh, it controls the vault, what the volume pedal is doing really is. Um, it defaults to be a volume pedal. Um, if I hit it once, um, this is now a wah-wah pedal. I, if I long pull, it takes me to channel C, which depending on the preset, that'll do something else. But it's almost, it's pretty much uniformly going to be uh, either setting this up as a um, as a wah or a volume pedal. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna, I, I, I've had two expression pedals with my FM3, and I'll think I'll add another expression pedal for things like delay mix, which I'll keep dedicated that way. Um, so... Uh, Again, I do I do some uh, preset mapping. So if I do select a preset, or um, uh, I'm sorry, layout link. So when I select a preset, it goes to that. Um, a couple of these, this is really my fusion setup. I've got a couple patches. That one main one is my go-to for most songs. There's a couple specialized songs we have that I have specialized presets for. So this one, when I go to that, you'll notice I really only have three scenes that I use in this particular song. So I have a um a per preset layout on that one and i have it overriding that toggle scenes um i did leave the original scenes intact just in case i do want to get to that I, and i can long press that um, so again if i'm here and i long press it will take me to the classic scenes um, um preset in the omg style but uh that's really the way i have the uh, fm9 i think it'll work for me i'll play with it i may a uh sort of uh, tweak it a little bit here and there, but right now that's my layout.